Life is a series of choices, each one steering us down a unique path. The philosophy of Stoicism, championed by figures like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, offers invaluable insights into making decisions that can profoundly shape our lives. In this exploration, we'll delve into 10 decisions inspired by Stoic principles that have the power to transform your journey. These decisions are not merely fleeting moments, but rather deliberate choices that align with the core tenets of Stoicism, leading to a life of wisdom, resilience and purpose. So let's embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment as we uncover the 10 decisions that can truly change your life through the lens of Stoicism. Say yes to what matters. There's a quote from Marcus Aurelius that always deeply resonates with me. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. What he teaches us here is simple yet profound. Amidst the daily hustle and bustle, we often forget the simple miracle of being alive. So by saying yes to life, we're truly acknowledging this privilege. Seneca, in his turn, reminds us, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. In other words, we frequently get distracted by small things, passing worries and activities that don't add value to our lives. We need to be selective about what deserves our yes. Ask yourself, is this truly important? Will it matter in a year, five years or ten years? Saying yes to what matters is understanding that every moment is precious and should be used wisely. Each time we say yes to something, we're implicitly saying no to something else. So my dear, whenever you feel lost or overwhelmed, remember the wisdom of the Stoics. They teach us to cherish life, live purposefully and focus on what truly matters. Life is short and every moment is a gift. Embrace these teachings, say yes to what truly matters, and live a life of purpose and meaning. Your heart and soul will thank you. Before we continue, consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. This way you help us bring more valuable content like this. Thank you very much. Let's proceed. Be disciplined. Remember those words of Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. What does that mean? Well, life has its own flow. Sometimes things don't go as we expect and many situations are beyond our control. However, we have complete control over how we react to those situations and this is where discipline comes in. If we train our mind to be calm and focused, even in adversity, we can navigate life with much more grace. Now think about the wise words of Seneca, we become what we think about most of the time. Every action we take, every decision we make, shapes our future. If we choose to be disciplined now, even if it seems challenging at first, we are setting the tone for the rest of our lives. You see, being disciplined is not just about working hard or following rules. It's about recognizing that we have a choice. We can let life lead us, or we can take the reins and steer our own path. And by choosing the latter, by choosing discipline, we are opting for a life of purpose and meaning. Do not suffer in advance. In the journey of life, it's easy to fall into the trap of suffering prematurely. We often find ourselves burdened by worries and anxieties about the future, creating unnecessary distress in the present moment. It's in times like these that the wisdom of Stoicism, as taught by philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, can offer solace and guidance. Seneca once said, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. This quote encapsulates a profound truth. Much of our suffering stems from our own thoughts and projections about what might happen. We allow our minds to conjure up scenarios that may never come to pass, and in doing so, we rob ourselves of the peace that resides in the here and now. Marcus Aurelius in his meditations reminds us, do not disturb yourself by picturing your life as a whole. Do not assemble in your mind the many and varied troubles which have come to you in the past and will come again in the future. This counsel urges us to focus on the present moment, to deal with challenges as they arise, rather than burdening ourselves with a hypothetical accumulation of difficulties. Stop wasting time. In the embrace of each passing day, there lies a treasure trove of moments waiting to be used wisely. Yet too often we find ourselves ensnared by the allure of procrastination, 
that thief of time and enemy of progress. Drawing from the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, let us unravel the veil that procrastination casts upon our lives. Seneca, with his discerning words, reminds us, putting things off is the biggest waste of life. The act of postponing tasks, dreams and aspirations blinds us to the potential of the present moment. Our time on this earth is a gift not to be squandered in the web of idleness. Imagine, my dear friend, a ship setting sail without a destination. It drifts aimlessly, its crew caught in the currents of inertia. Likewise, when we procrastinate, we allow the tidies of time to carry us along without purpose. Yet, as Seneca aptly puts it, begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. By beginning each task promptly, we assert our agency over time itself. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, offers a lantern to illuminate our path. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. The reality of life's impermanence underscores the urgency to act, to seize each moment with purposeful intent. When we confront procrastination with this perspective, its allure wanes. Control your emotions. As we navigate the tapestry of existence, our emotions often sweep us like gusts of wind, tossing us to and fro in the whispers of ancient wisdom from the Stoic sages Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. We find guidance to steer our emotional ship amidst the tempest. Our emotions can take root in the soil of our imagination, blooming as distorted perceptions. Let us pause and question the validity of our feelings, discerning between the authentic moment and the tales spun by our minds. Marcus Aurelius in his meditations imparts, in a part, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This counsel reminds us that the canvas of our emotions is painted by the brushstrokes of our thoughts. Embrace the power to mold your inner dialogue, shaping your emotional landscape into one of resilience and tranquility. Imagine emotions as rivers flowing through your realm. You are the steward of these waters, capable of directing their course. Seneca's wisdom teaches us, he who is brave is free indeed. Freedom blooms when we become the architects of our emotional responses, tethering them to our wise intentions. Focus on how far you can still go. In many moments, it's easy to cast our eyes upon the terrain already covered, dwelling on the past steps we've taken. Seneca reminds us, we are always complaining that our days are few and acting as though there would be no end of them. Often, we squander precious moments ruminating on what's already passed, forgetting that every day is a canvas waiting for our strokes. Let's shift our gaze from what's behind to the path that still stretches ahead. Let the awareness of life's transient nature propel you forward, steering your thoughts and actions toward meaningful endeavors. Think of your life's journey as a path that winds through valleys and peaks. Seneca's insight comes alive. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Embrace the challenges that lie ahead as opportunities to grow, to ascend higher peaks, and to gather the strength of character that only the journey itself can bestow. Take care of others. Imagine life as a grand symphony, with each person representing a unique note. In this symphony, our individual melodies harmonize to create a melody that transcends time. We are waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree, flowers of the same garden. We're all part of the same intricate composition, interconnected and interdependent. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Just as we cultivate our own thoughts and emotions, so can we shape the world around us through acts of compassion? Consider a smile shared with a stranger, a simple action that can ripple through their day, brightening moments they encounter. Think of yourself as a gardener, tending to the garden of humanity. Just as each flower requires nurturing and care, each soul seeks understanding and kindness. We should give as we would receive, cheerfully, quickly, and without hesitation, for there is no grace in a benefit that sticks to the fingers. Recall the times when someone's warmth and consideration lifted your spirits, just as their actions left an imprint. Your gestures of compassion can ignite hope in others. It's akin to being a lighthouse guiding ships through stormy waters. 
In these interactions, you're not just helping others, you're also nurturing your own soul. Focus on what you can control. Again, imagine life as a ship navigating tumultuous seas. The wind and waves represent the unpredictable currents of existence, while the ship's rudder symbolizes your choices and actions. Just as a skilled sailor adjusts the rudder to navigate the ship through storms, so can you steer your life by focusing on your own actions and responses. Consider a situation where external events stir anxiety within you, much like a thunderstorm on the horizon. By focusing on your internal reactions and choosing a calm response, you're transforming a tempest into a gentle rain. Just as a diligent gardener attends to their garden, you can nurture your mind by sowing seeds of positivity and mindfulness. Think of the sun rising each day, a constant you can rely on. Similarly, you possess the power to rise above the external turbulence by embracing your inner strength. The Stoic philosophers liken this strength to an unshakable fortress, a sanctuary you build by focusing on your thoughts and actions. Recall a time when you faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable. Through focused effort and perseverance, you overcame it. This principle is rooted in the Stoic philosophy of focusing on what's within your control, much like a sculptor shaping a block of marble to create a masterpiece. Be willing to look foolish. Imagine yourself standing at the edge of a dance floor, hesitating to join in because of a fear of stumbling. This fear, much like a barrier, holds us back from new experiences and growth. The Stoics remind us that true growth often comes from stepping out of our comfort zones even if it means momentarily appearing naive or unskilled, consider a child learning to ride a bicycle. At first they wobble and fall, seemingly foolish in their attempts. Yet, with every fall, they learn, adapt, and eventually master the art of balancing. Similarly, when we allow ourselves to embrace new challenges, we grow, develop, and gradually become more skilled. Marcus Aurelius's words resonate here, the first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Just as a brave explorer faces unknown territories, we can confront our fears of looking foolish and still proceed with courage. Just like an artist creating a painting, as you start with bold strokes, allowing his ideas to flow onto the canvas, the early stages might appear chaotic and untamed. Yet as the painting evolves, it transforms into a masterpiece. Similarly, when we are willing to seem foolish at first, we create space for our potential to shine and our skills to develop. Remember a time when you hesitated to share your thoughts or ideas in a group discussion. By overcoming that hesitation and participating, you contributed unique insights to the conversation. It's like adding a distinct color to a vibrant tapestry, a color that enriches the collective experience. Seek challenges. Challenges are the threads that give our existence depth and meaning. As the Stoics like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius have shown us, seeking challenges is not a pursuit of unnecessary hardship, but a deliberate choice to grow, evolve and thrive. Think about it. Just as a muscle needs resistance to become stronger, our minds and spirits require challenges to reach their full potential. Seneca wisely said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. When we embrace challenges, we're like the sculptor carving a masterpiece out of marble, shaping our character, resilience, and wisdom. Consider the example of learning a new skill. At first, it's unfamiliar and perhaps even frustrating. But as we persist, we gain mastery and a sense of accomplishment. These small victories add up, and suddenly the daunting becomes routine. This process, my dear, is how we evolve. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Challenges are not obstacles to avoid, but opportunities to seize. They become the stepping stones that lead us towards growth and self-discovery. Remember, our comfort zones might feel safe, but they're also stagnant pools where growth stagnates. By seeking challenges, we're setting sail on the vast sea of life, embracing the unpredictable winds and waves that guide us to new horizons. And for those who wish to delve deeper into Stoicism and integrate its teachings into their daily lives, we recommend the book, The Daily Stoic, 3666, Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance, and the Art of Living. 
This work offers a daily meditation for each day of the year, providing valuable and practical insights to cultivate wisdom, perseverance, and a purposeful life. If you're interested in enhancing your stoic journey, this book can be a valuable guide. Check out the link in the description below for more information. What did you think of these 10 teachings? Please share your valuable opinion in the comments. If you're fond of stoic philosophy, I recommend watching the video that's appearing on the screen. Click on it to continue your journey towards self-awareness.